If you want to record this session, tomorrow's session, the next session, whatever, if you're here, you can record it. Just go ahead and ask me for permission or whatever it tells you to do, and I'll hit the OK button. All right. Great. Steven wants to record. Jason wants to record. Okay, great. Everybody's getting permission to record. If you want to record, I will also be posting the replays. The replays will be posted to your email. Okay. So I'm going to be sending them to your email. Now, there'll be a link in your email. So after today's session, if you're like, hey, where's the replay? Give me just a little bit of time and I'll get it over to your email. Okay. Because I'm also recording it. And then we'll we'll uh we'll all have it access to it just just in case you didn't record it or you're on a device that doesn't allow record you'll have it in your email okay does everybody have this workbook all right i'm gonna put the link one more time in the chat it looks like maybe everybody that's attending has arrived finally god bless you so much thank you so much for being here you know you guys have really made my day i didn't know that we were going to have this good of a turnout but thank you so much for being a part of this i want to talk about getting leads today I want to talk about how I got started because getting started is hard. <laughs> how many of you in here are getting started? Just show of hands if you don't mind. Okay, just just me and Hosea. <laughs> All right, there's a few more hands. We're just getting started and getting started is hard. Okay, and getting started is expensive. It kind of is. Well, even if you're going the cheap route, you know, a lot of times these tools add up. Like, for example, PropStream is 97 bucks. Now, REI replies is $99. There's probably other things that you're going to want to have, too, that, that's going to cost money. I use GetResponse, for example. That's $59, I think, a month. So I'm paying quite a bit of money in just tools. And then I've got to pay text fees. I've got to do all this stuff. So getting started, it's it's so expensive and it's so complicated nowadays with business registrations and all of this. But let me tell you a little story. It wasn't like that when I got started. When I got started, none of those things existed, all right? So I basically was looking for guerrilla marketing ways to get going right off the very get-go, right off the bat. And so what I and my brother, I have a brother that was in the business for a while with me, and he and I invented a lot of what I'm going to share with you today. Invented meaning we put it into practice. This is how we got started. This is how I got started back in 2005. I did 10 deals that first year using these same techniques, okay, that I'm going to show you in the next three day challenge. And I still use these same techniques today. So you, you might say, well, that sounds great. That was, I don't know, 17 years ago, Justin. Does it still work? Absolutely, it still works today. And I will show you, I don't know if you guys saw, um, I posted a couple, two or three wins here. Here's a couple checks this month. Here's, oh, I don't know if that's a duplication. Here's another one that I posted on Facebook. You can see that it actually still works today. These same strategies, techniques, and what I'm doing, a lot of what I'm doing is free. So I didn't start out with REI Reply. I did not start out with PropStream. I didn't start out with any of these big expensive tools because one, I didn't know they existed. They didn't exist. And then I didn't have the money anyway. The first thing I spent money on was a lead gen package. It, it was 40 bucks. I was getting digital or like online leads, you know, like pay-per-click type, type stuff. And it was really, really, really sporadic. And you might not get any, or you might get one, or it was, it was really, really unpredictable. So I had to invent something. So my brother and I, we said, hey, where do we go where we can start contacting homeowners and talk to them about doing deals with us and it costs no money at all because that's where we're at. Okay. And I'm not going to ask you out there, Hey, is that where you're at? Because some of you probably are there like, Hey, listen, I want to get started, but I don't have any money really for all these tools and stuff. Okay, great. That's, this is for you. This is all also for you. If you want to 
grow beyond just doing REI Reply. Okay, some of you have just started out using text blasting, REI Reply, all that's great. But this is for you because you should expand beyond that. What happens if REI Reply goes away? Okay, what happens if text blasting goes away for real? Like they, they, they complain and say that it has, it hasn't. You guys know I'm text blasting every single day, but what happens if it goes away? Well, what I'm teaching you today, tomorrow, and the next day, and actually Thursday is a bonus day, so this is kind of a four-day challenge, are techniques that you can employ in your business at no cost to you, okay? And get started getting deals and build it up to three to five deals a month, just you and no money out of pocket for marketing, like postcards, letters, all of this stuff. We're gonna get into the deep strategies we have a couple more people popping in here. I'm gonna post the link in the chat room one more time. And then let's jump in. I'm gonna share, uh, I'm gonna jump into a full screen here. And let's talk about what we need when it comes to leads besides free. Does anybody have anything in mind what you need in a lead besides free? Go ahead and unmute. Let's just make this interactive. Okay, let's let's rephrase the question. <laughs> Actually, in this workbook, which if you're just arriving, I'm going to put the link in the chat room one more time here so you can grab the, the workbook. In the workbook, I talk about leads. Um, what kind of lead you need, what, what a lead should be for you. And then we go into Craigslist. What kind of, what kind of leads can we get on Craigslist? Anybody? Who are we talking to? Who are, who is posting leads or ads on Craigslist? Who is? Let's just ask that question. If I go to Craigslist and I go to the, the real estate section, who is there posting? Owners. Okay, for sale by owners. Right. Anybody else? Who will I find? Buyers. Say it again, Hosea. You find buyers too that's posting their deals and I mean posting deals they want to sell, like a wrap or something like that. Okay, sure. You you might find buyers. A absolutely. So we've got so far two things we've we've listed off here for sale by owners and buyers. William just put in the chat for rent by owners. Th that's there too. What what else might be there on Craigslist? Now I know not everybody's a Craigslist expert, and you don't have to be, but if you've ever been to Craigslist and surfed around in the real estate section, you kind of found out there's a few kinds of people there. Who are they? For sale by owners, for rent by owners, we've got some buyers in there too. Who else? Scammers. Well, you got some scammers in there. You got for sale by owners. You got for rent by owners. Anybody? One more. Wholesalers. Well, okay. Wholesalers. That's a great one. Realtors. <laughs> Realtors are another one. All right. Wholesalers. That's a great one. That's, that's actually a nice segue to the next section that I want to talk about, which you'll find all of this stuff in the workbook. But what kind of deals now, if those are the kind of people that are on Craigslist for sale by owner, for rent by owner, some buyers, um, realtors, wholesalers, what kind of deals can we do on Craigslist then? What strategies can we employ? Anybody? Right now, mostly creative. That's what mostly everybody's doing right now is creative deals. Awesome. I love it. Yeah, that's perfect. That suits me just dandy. Um, I'm going to tag off of what I think it was Hector that said. Coho sailing is one strategy we can employ because we're going to find wholesalers there. Is that correct? So let's talk about coho sailing today. We're going to talk about coho sailing today and how it works, how to make it work off Craigslist. 
what's another strategy that we that we'll use since we know there are for sale by owners there are for rent by owners there are realtors there's buyers what what's another there's wholesalers what's another strategy we could use besides co wholesaling what about just straight ugly houses are we going to find for sale by owners that are ugly okay then we're going to have to be prepared with how to make discount cash offers aren't we Okay, I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. Okay, so today we're going to talk about dealing with the coho sailing and the, the wholesalers we're going to find on Craigslist. Tomorrow we're going to talk about ugly houses and doing discount cash offers. So we are now creative solution people here. What else could we do? What about pretty houses? You could definitely do pretty houses. What strategies are we going to use? Somebody put in the chat already. You guys have already jumped on it. It's lease options, subject twos, other creative options. Yes. I'm going to lead with lease options, and we're going to talk about doing pretty houses on day three. Okay, day three. How to do pretty house deals right off Craigslist, day three. So day one, we're going to talk about working coho sale, wholesale list. Day two, tomorrow, we're going to talk about straight ugly house wholesaling with for sale by owners with ugly houses, how to get them under contract, how to not get all tense up on the phone, okay, how to make it nice and easy flow, how to make nice, easy, no pressure offers to cat low discount stuff. And then the third day, we're going to talk about pretty houses, pretty houses, okay, each day, including today. We're going to talk about leads. How do we get them? How do we get leads? Today, we're going to talk about how do we get co sale leads? How do we find ugly house wholesalers or pretty house wholesalers even? We're going to talk more about co wholesaling today, but each day tomorrow, we're going to talk about ugly houses. How are we going to find the ugly house sellers? On the day three, we're going to talk about how do we find the pretty house sellers? To do pretty house deals. Okay. Step two, every day we're going to talk about once we find those leads, we're going to pre qualify them. In the workbook, you will find the exact verbiage that I use. And this is a good point now for me to interject that you might be tempted to take this lightly because it is a Craigslist technique. Do not take it lightly for two reasons. One, you can go to any social media platform besides Craigslist and employ these same techniques, okay? There are keywords, search terms, everything in that workbook. You can use them on different platforms besides Craigslist. So do not get pigeonholed into Craigslist. I'm only presenting Craigslist because it is a foundational platform and it is where I got started and is where I like to think of it as home in a way. All right, the second reason why you would not want to discount this is because this, especially the workbook, has the words that you're gonna need to pre-qualify, okay? You can use the exact words out of that workbook. So if you are a investor, newbie or, or not, that wants to outsource your business to a virtual assistant, everything you need, for the most part, training-wise, is in this workbook. For example, you will want you will want your virtual assistant to do the following. Step one, you guys see what I was just saying. Generate lots of great motivated seller leads off of Craigslist. Yes, you can have a great virtual assistant. My virtual assistant that I began with was from Bangladesh. Barely spoke good English at all. It's okay. Copy and paste. It's all easy at this level. Okay. Step one, generating lots of motivated seller leads. Step two, we're going to pre qualify those. Why do we pre qualify them? Because we do not want to get on the phone. We do not want you, you, the investor, your time is precious and important. We do not want you getting on the phone with unmotivated home sellers. So that's step two. We're going to talk about that each day. Today, we're going to do co host sailing. Step three is the first call or fact finding. And you see that right behind me. Use a script to finish the fact finding and pre-qualifying. You could outsource this to a VA. 
Many of you will not at first, and that is fine. At first, I did not either. But there is a script for each of these techniques, each of these strategies in the workbook, okay? So that you, you or your VA can generate leads, pre-qualify them, call them and finalize the pre-qualifying, okay? And then step four, analyzing the deal and making your offer, right? Which is up here, lead analyzing and sending an email offer. This is the process, okay? No matter if it's a coho sale lead, <laughs> no matter if it's a ugly house seller, no matter if it's a pretty house seller, no matter if it's a lease option, no matter if it's a subject two that we end up doing, no matter if it's a cash discount offer, no matter if it's just a straight option or whatever, no matter what, no matter what. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. Okay, always, always and forever. This is how you'll build your business. If you do not base your business off the simplicity of step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, you'll get cloudy, foggy, and fall short. Your virtual assistant will not please you because it is not crystal clear what instructions they must fulfill. Okay. I'm trying to create instructions that are crystal clear. I want my virtual assistant to have a stressless job. All right. Facts. <clears throat> if it is stressing the virtual assistant out, there is something not efficient in this one, two, three, four, five. If there's something stressing you out besides just having the lack of skills, maybe, then there's something not efficient in the one, two, three, four, five. This we will do this with coho sale today. We will do it with ugly houses tomorrow. We will do it with pretty houses the third day. <clears throat> Step four is analyzing those deals and making sure we want to actually send a written offer. And in many cases, we are sending written offers. How are we doing that? We're doing that through email, right? We're filling out an agreement and we're putting it, attaching it to an email with a nice note and we're sending it to them in email. If you want to know in the workbook are the actual contracts that you're going to need each day for each strategy. Okay. So whether you or your virtual assistant are doing this, you can teach them to do it, or you can do it yourself. Okay. To fill out the agreement. Now, step five, you can see down here is the second phone call. <clears throat> and this is a follow-up call. This call should be set during step three. So during the first phone call, you get the email address and you get a second follow-up call. That's what the virtual assistant is instructed to do. Whether we wanna send an offer or not, get the email address, get a follow-up set up, okay? Just in case we look at it, we decide we wanna send a written offer, I want you to go ahead and get the email address and get, get a second appointment set up. This step five is that second appointment. Now, if you are in my mentoring program, we have a second phone call closer program called the Shut Up Money Shortcut. And that's where you can bring on you, the manager, and me, the coach. And I can talk with the homeowner with you, okay? That's what we do. Now, if you're not a part of that program, that's fine. Here's how you would play it out in your business. Your virtual assistant is going to get the thing all the way up to step four, and you're going to now analyze the deal, instruct the virtual assistant, sure, send, send the agreement. When is that second appointment set up? Okay. Second appointment is set up for tomorrow at 5 p.m. Okay, great. Then me and the virtual assistant, you and the virtual assistant will complete that call. Okay. I won't be present. But that's that's the only difference. Okay, so when you see manager plus coach, it just means you and the virtual assistant making the call together. Why is it important? I think that the virtual assistant be available on the second call. I think it's important because they are the touch. They've touched this guy on step three already. Okay. Is it mandatory? 
not mandatory. Do I find it helpful? Sure. It's a friendly voice they've already spoken to before. They're hearing it again on step five, introducing you as their boss. You know, the guy that's actually going to make the final decision here and he's got questions. He, you know, the whole guts agenda. I've got questions. You've got questions. Let's ask each other. If it's not a good fit, let's call it off. All right. So that's the steps. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. It can be done with a virtual assistant. It can be done just by yourself. Does anybody have any questions right now about any of that? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, good. All right. Does everybody have a copy of the workbook? Okay. Everybody's so quiet today. Am I boring you? <laughs> Hopefully not. Let's get into let's get into the workbook a little bit here, though. I want to share the screen and actually jump into the workbook and let's talk about getting into Craigslist and actually generating leads. That's step one. Today I said we we're going to talk about doing coho sailing, finding wholesalers. There's there's some stories here you can read about me as well, but let's jump into talking about yeah there's a lot of great info here y'all i i work pretty hard on this um craigslist markets i've created a list here using chat gpt actually okay chat gpt at least used to i don't know if will now i last time i tried it it told me it wouldn't do it but you can you used to be able to i think you probably still can if you use the right words get it to create this list of what's the most what you know the hottest craigslist markets and you can see that the hottest craigslist markets uh started la new york chicago um on and on on down the list and then all the way down to 100 which would be visalia california scranton pennsylvania 99 Okay, some of these places, I'll just say right off the bat, these are the busy, these are the big cities. These are the busy cities, okay? So these may be places that you want to avoid. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. Maybe some of these places you want to avoid. Maybe you work the work a few of these over here on the on the high end, like up in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Maybe you don't like Oklahoma. Maybe you don't like Illinois. Maybe you don't like Texas. Maybe you don't like North Carolina. Maybe you skip some of those, okay? I'm not telling you to go to these markets. I'm just giving you a list of popular markets. So what I recommend and what I did with my virtual assistant when I when I outsourced this, but I was doing it before I had a virtual assistant myself, okay? is I picked, okay, pick like 10 to start with, all right? That's all you need to do. A good virtual assistant can run 10 or 12 markets for you, by the way, it, it, a, a good one can. So th there's no stress in, in giving a virtual assistant 10 or 12 markets to do this technique in. Oh, it's gonna take them a few, you know, two, three hours a day to do, but, but once they get the hang of this, you you might even move them around even more than that. All right. So start out not trying to tackle all 100, just tackle a handful. So what I hope you'll do is you'll use this list as a, a trigger for you to kind of spur some ideas where you can grab a, you know, I'm definitely going to like, for example, I'm going to do Shreveport, Louisiana, cause I live there. Um, but I'm not I'm not gonna do Dayton, Ohio, because I graduated high school there and I just don't like those people. Like I, you know, I I might decide that. You do you, nothing wrong with that. All right. You might educate yourself on those markets and kind of become a, a little bit of a, a little bit of an educated person on where you're going as well. That's helpful. Ask other people where are you going? What's some good markets? What did you choose? 
So this is part of your homework tonight, all right? I want to assign homework. This is a three-day action challenge. We've been going for 30 minutes. We have 30 minutes left in our session today, and here is your first action challenge. Your first action challenge is to pick at least 10 markets tonight. Pick them. Circle them. Put a line under them. Put an arrow by them. Whatever you need to do, but you need to pick 10 markets, okay? If you want to confer with your pals here or whatever, hey, what markets you in, blah, blah, whatever. Hey, oh, I don't like this market, that market. If you want to talk about markets, hey, we, we can talk about markets. But you need to pick 10. If you don't pick 10, you're just, you're not starting anywhere. You got to pick some place to start and you don't have to be an expert in any of them. So just pick 10 that you think you like. And then in the next page, you're going to probably benefit from having a Craigslist account Everybody knows you can use Craigslist without an account, but we're going to talk in day four about how to maximize Craigslist by posting your own listings on, on it, on that platform. And so it's going to be helpful if you go ahead and create a Craigslist account. Okay. And you can write your credentials there so you don't forget. Now, today I want to talk about the easiest way to make money in real estate is co-wholesaling. Co-wholesaling. Somebody give me a definition of what it means to co-wholesale. Joint venture. A joint venture. I like that. What's that? What's that mean? Anybody want to give me more details? You want to give me more? Somebody find a, somebody has a buyer and the other party has the uh, the seller. They come together and they agree upon a uh, uh, a percentage. It could be 50, 50, 60, 40, however they agree upon it. And uh, they get together, sign a JV and, uh, you know, put it in escrow. Yeah. Okay. Pretty simple. One's got, one's got the house, one's got the buyer, you know, one's got the seller contract, one's got the, got a buyer that's interested and they kind of, partner up to make the deal work. Yeah, that's great. How many people in here have actually done a coho sale deal? Anyone? Not successfully. Ty has. Okay, great. Anybody else? Okay. All right. Lee said yes. All right. Lee said it's partnering up with somebody who has a buyer's list. Sure. That's if you're the, the, the guy that's got the seller contract. <laughs> yeah. So coho sailing means there's two wholesalers. There's two investors in the middle. Anybody ever have a sandwich with, let's say, ham and turkey? <laughs> Three-way sandwich. All right. I've been the turkey and I've been the ham. All right. But that's all it is. It's just a sandwich with two fellas in the middle. All right. It doesn't have to be fellas. It could be... But in a lot of cases, it has been. I've done, actually, I've done quite a bit of co-wholesaling with female wholesalers, too. And that's that's always nice. All right. So co-wholesaling is a partnering up of two wholesalers. One's got the property deal under contract, and the other one's got a buyer's list. Well, what if you don't have a buyer's list? Can you still do co-wholesaling? What if you don't have a deal under contract and you don't have a par, uh, a buyer's list? Can you still do it? Yes. W why? You use their lists. Okay, their I don't know lists. what what do you mean? Tell me what you mean. Well, if you're working with another hoe, you and the two two hoes make one sale, so <laughs> <laughs> you got yours and you got their they got a list, don't they? That's, okay, that's... so let's assume you don't have a, a property under contract, and let's assume this we're talking about. Let's assume we're talking about somebody. Give me a market where you, where you, let's let's do Shreveport again, Shreveport, Louisiana. Let's say you don't have a buyer's list there, a, a cash buyer's list, or any buyer's list at all, and you also don't have any deals there. Does it make sense? <laughs> Can we go there and and can we co-host sale? I want to get this, I want to clear this problem no. out of your mind. No. Yeah. 
not in that case. I was thinking I had a property and someone wanted to co-wholesale with me. Uh, but if you're co-wholesaling with them, then you're going to need a, a buyer's list for sure. Uh, it would be helpful. It would be helpful in day four on Thursday. We're going to talk about doing buyer's list, building buyer's list in all the markets that you choose. But it's not really, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I think you're wrong. I, I think everybody in here that's saying that, yeah, you got to have, you got to have one or the other or don't even go. See, I, I disagree with you. And I disagree with you because I've done deals in Shreveport that I didn't have uh, a deal to begin with. And I didn't have a buyer's list to begin with either. And I still co-wholesale and I still won. How did I win? Does anybody got any ideas? Was I just super slick or what did I do? How how can I do a deal, a co-ho sale deal, even if I don't have a buyer's list? Market it. it yeah. Is, yeah. It's that simple. Yeah. Market you, anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Do you know Market most, it. how much education do most ugly house wholesalers get? Yeah. Like, like zero, <laughs> like maybe a, a, a scratch. Like some YouTube vids and uh, maybe maybe they follow Zach and Rick again. And that's that's the extent of their education. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Are they marketing experts? Do they know how to market their property deal? I mean, it's sitting on Craigslist, right? You, you're going to find it today. We're going to go find some today. And we're going to start messaging them, okay? But what what happens is uh they get over there and they get a, they finally get a deal and they put it on craigslist and and that's just about all they do that happens that's right why is that i don't know people are funny <laughs> people are funny i don't know but we're gonna we're gonna find that they're not very good marketers a lot of them how many of you in here have met another wholesaler that you thought, wow, that guy's not very good at this. He doesn't really know what he's doing much with this whole deal that he's trying to sell. Has anybody experienced that? One, two, okay. Three. There's a lot of clowns out there. <laughs> I don't mean to be mean, but yes, I do. There's a lot of clowns out there in this business. Lots of clowns. That's right. How many clowns can you fit in one Craigslist? I don't know. A lot. There's a bunch of them. All right. So we know that we can go ahead and market a property deal we get under contract and still win because that wholesaler is probably not marketing on other channels. Okay. Now, I, like I said, on day four, we're going to talk about building a buyer's list. Super easy. Super duper easy. Okay. You can have it done in a weekend if you want. In most places, it's that easy. All right. We're also going to use some disposition techniques that are going to help us be successful. We're going to probably just go to prop stream because we can. Now, I told you I'm going to do free techniques this week, and we are. We're going to talk about free techniques. But if you can afford prop stream, you can go find cash buyers right off prop stream. Just call them directly, you know, or call their realtor and say, hey, how do I get a hold of the, the buyers? You know, are they interested in buying something? I've got a deal here. Do you think a lot of wholesalers are doing that? Are wholesalers out there calling realtors that have done cash buyer transactions in the area and saying, hey, you know, it looks like you were the realtor on a hot cash buyer transaction recently right there in that area. And I've got a house under contract. Would those buyers be interested in picking up this deal? Did you know a lot of times that realtor will let that transaction, your transaction happen with their buyer at no charge? because they're going to relist that property for that buyer when that buyer gets it fixed. Okay. Does that make sense? Everybody is this too advanced? Is this too over your head? Okay. So we're going to talk about realtors. We're going to talk about talking to realtors too, especially in day four. Okay. But definitely we can do coho sailing off of Craigslist without a cash buyers list in hand. Definitely can. 
There's lots of great ways to sell property deals. We're going to talk about that more in day four. All right, so hang hey, tight. Just, yes. Hey, just, uh, my apologies, sir. Uh, I haven't received the, uh, I don't want to say anything early. didn't want to be disruptive, but I was looking for the book. I don't have it retrieved it. Where would I go and find that, sir? It's in the chat room here. There's a link in the chat room. Got it. Got it. Did you see it right here? Got yep. it. I see it. Hey, my apologies. Yep. No problem, man. Okay, so let's talk about finding Craigslist wholesalers, Craigslist co-wholesale deals. It's going to be easy. Somebody give me a, a marketplace. What's a good marketplace? We want to just stick with Shreveport because that's where we've been. Dallas, I think Florida. <laughs> yeah, Dallas and Florida, you guys. Dallas is a, probably a great one. Florida, that we'd have to narrow it down a little. Um, Jason says Roanoke. Let's do a few. We'll do a few, okay? But let's. I'm going to go ahead and share screens here and show you in the workbook, okay? There are Craigslist search terms, and this is page 18, it looks like. Okay, so all you got to do is go to Craigslist, and if you want to, you can copy this right here, okay? And copy it. Control C. You can go to your Craigslist. You can go to real estate for sale. Click that. Come here, put in the search bar, paste that. Okay. And hit look. I don't know about you, but that doesn't look like a lot, but it says one through 61. So let, let me go over here and slide down. Okay, I didn't expand. This is 23 miles around Shreveport. I'm gonna change that. See over here on the left, it says Shreveport, 23 miles. I'm gonna open that up and then I'm gonna back it up a little bit, just a little and hit choose location. It's gonna probably open up some more for me. And then I'm gonna hit apply down here at the bottom. I don't, didn't really change much for me. Okay, so you can see right off the bat, we've got a seller financing deal here. I don't know what that is. It's probably an investor. Probably an investor. It says Jenkins, Pinecroft, don't know. I That's probably a lead that I would actually contact, but look at this ugly one right here. Shreveport Investment Property. You think this is probably a wholesaler? Assignment of contract. Two bedroom, one bath. Thousand nine square feet, Shreveport. Inbox or text for the address. Cash buyers only, no financing. All right. I don't know. It looks like a dumper. But this is definitely a wholesaler. <laughs> okay, definitely a wholesaler. Let me back up. Okay. I don't know about commercial lots here. I'm gonna skip those. Let's slide down. Here's another wholesaler, investor special fix and flip. How do I know? It's an investor special. That's another wholesaler. So I'm fine. I found two good leads so far just in Shreveport. Oh, here's a for sale by owner. I'm betting this is a wholesaler too, but it could be an ugly house, which we'll talk about doing tomorrow. If it's a straight to, to for sale by owner, ugly house, we've got techniques for that we'll discuss tomorrow. Today, we're just focusing on getting co-wholesale wholesalers. Investment opportunity, flip two acres. Right there, another lead. All of these are wholesalers. Investment opportunity in Longview. All right, slide down. There's some duplicates here. Off market, two for one, directly next door. Don't know what that means. That sounds like an investor. Off market investment property. All right, house for sale, no pick. Sometimes those are good. You know what? This is how bad some wholesalers are. <clears throat> they don't even have a picture. What if you message that guy? 
we're going to talk about what you would message that guy, but let's, let's just think about it for a minute. What if we message that guy? Here's some more Huntington park. I bet that's an investor. That's a wholesaler, classic long view, contemporary, ready to entertain. Oh, that might be a realtor. That's okay. We can actually uh, ask realtors about doing deals too. And we'll get more into that on day four, but there is material in the workbook if you want to forge ahead about talking to realtors. Here's another one, Henderson, Texas Rehab. Selling my property. Okay. There's quite a few here. There's quite a few here I would message. Exceptionally priced property in Kilgore. I don't know. This list is pretty, pretty big. Off-market half-acre discount. That sounds like an investor in Texarkana. Okay, so we've discovered leads. Here's what I want to do. Uh, you guys have put a few marketplaces in. Let's just switch and go see what it looks like over in your neck of the woods. Okay, so somebody said, uh, what was it? It wasn't... Uh, Dallas. Dallas is what it was. Dallas, Texas. Let's go look at Dallas, Texas. I'm going to see if I can get it to switch easy for me. I don't know if it'll switch easy for me, but let me share screens and we'll jump right into Dallas. Okay. Craigslist. Dallas, Texas. All right. Real estate for sale. And then I'm going to paste those search terms there. That easy. But I already see one. Don't you? Do you see one already? I haven't even put the search terms in yet, and I already see one. Here's an incredible off-market property in Dallas. Okay. Um, there's quite a few here. Let's just go ahead and, and hit the search terms. One through 120 of 945. Hmm. Let's go ahead and remove duplicates on the left. Let's go ahead and hit for sale by owner only and not, not have any realtors involved. And let's search that and see what happens. Now we have 259 still. A lot of these are going to be wholesalers, investors, off-market flip in a great flipper neighborhood. For sale by owners, do not talk like that. That's a wholesaler. Off-market Prestonwood, arguably the best, blah, blah. Okay, on and on. I don't know. Dallas looks like a fertile, a fertile territory. Look, there's all kinds of ads here even for wholesalers, okay? So what if you were to message the wholesalers? Let's go. Uh, what, was the, what was the market in Florida you wanted to look at? Who said Florida? And that was me, Justin. Um, I think Broward County. I don't know. Maybe Pompano Beach or Fort Lauderdale? Uh, I don't know if I can search by county. Um, Pompano Beach, Florida. Not familiar with it. Don't don't know much about it. It's probably not a major Craigslist market. I, I'm guessing not a major market. It's pretty close to the beach. It looks like it maybe even is a beach. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Um, but let's take a look. Okay. Maybe this this might this market might not be a great one for us to do, and that might be a good example of one that you you don't you don't do. I don't know. Let's look. I'm gonna go ahead and put those search terms in in the search bar, and then hit go again and see what happens. Oh, wow. Okay. There's quite a th quite a few things going on. I'm gonna go over to the left and hit hide duplicates. I'm gonna click owner. Look, there's 69 for sale by owners that meet these search terms here. Okay. It says here there's some ads. There's somebody looking for cash money, hard hard money buyers wanted. 
that looks like a wholesaler then. Okay. Um, excellent rental investment complete. What if you joint ventured with that guy? You can you joint venture pretty houses and ugly houses too? If if the if there's a wholesaler involved, can you get involved? Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Condo in need of TLC cash sale. I bet these are investors. Okay. We're we're finding them even in Florida around the beach. Look at this. Ugly stuff. Ugly stuff. Miami 4-2 King Cash deal. I bet that's an investor wholesaler. Duplex and Pompano. Pompano. All right. Deer, Deerfield Lake manufactured home. I don't know. That might be a, a, a mobile home park. Might not be. Don't know. Take a look at it. It might be a wholesaler. Not sure. Lots of ugly stuff around there. I would have never guessed. There, there, there it is in Pompano. Let's go to another one. Somebody said Roanoke. Let's take a look at Roanoke. Roanoke, Virginia. I do love Virginia. All right. Let's choose this location and then hop over to the real estate for sale section. I'm going to quickly paste those terms into the search bar and then hit go. It's that easy. All right. Here we go. One through 61 from that area and nearby. We have a few here at the top that don't look like they would be very good. This looks like it could be some kind of a <clears throat> maybe elder care facility. <clears throat> Owner will finance investors five unit apartments. Okay, I don't know if you're interested in making offers on multi units, but there's one right there in Roanoke, Virginia, sitting right there, probably investor controlled. All right, here's another one. Three houses. Don't know. Sounds like a, sounds like an investor. Um, you, you'd have to open it up and go investigate. Look at all these with no pictures. This is this is some of your competition, guys and gals. They suck. They don't even have pictures. Look, rehab special. Four bedrooms, seventeen hundred and seventy six square feet. Didn't even have a picture. Oh, there it is. It finally loaded. Okay, my bad. I take that back. Sorry, Lord. I slandered the man unjustly. <laughs> it was my computer after all. All right, look at this one. House for sale. That's ugly. This is sure ugly. $4,500. There's a lot of houses here that are off-market property deals. A lot of them are investor-controlled. Okay, let's take a look at the workbook and what would we message these when we message them? Here is message templates to wholesalers. Number one, I have buyers ready to go. Got any wholesale deals you'd be open to JV on? Easy peasy, copy and paste if you want. Take it to chat GPT, have it rewrite it 10 different ways to fit you, and it'll be original. That's a tip. Number two, currently on the hunt for deals. Give me a call. I'm ready to make a move. <laughs> you think if I'm a, if I'm a motive, is a wholesaler a motivated seller, somebody, yes or no? Yeah, totally. Sure. Many of them are, many of them are. So if they're motivated and you, you send them a note that says currently on the hunt for deals, give me a call. I'm ready to make a move in response to their Craigslist post of their crappy deal. Will they get back with you? A lot of times they will. Yes. Okay. I'm going to copy that right there. And I'm going to go back here to Craigslist and I'm going to find one that I like, that I think looks like a wholesaler. Here it is, Craigsville, West Virginia. Don't know anything about Craigsville, West Virginia, but here it is. Okay, I'm not in the, remember, deal analysis don't happen till step four. I'm just generating leads right now. Good, bad, ugly, it don't matter. I'm generating leads. Step four is where I analyze this stuff, so don't get caught up in that. I'm going to hit reply, okay? 
I'm going to text, call, or email. Which is best? Which is best, you guys? I'll try to call, but I think most people would prefer like uh, a text or uh, people answer their emails, but I think it would be like mostly like uh, a text or a call. That's what I would do. Or maybe both. Yeah. I mean, this is B to B. This is an investor and you're an investor. You're, you're a business. They're a business. You should be able to call them as a business and say, hey, Mr. Businessman, I've got a business proposition. I saw this ugly house in West Virginia. I sent you an email. I'm following up with a call. What do I say next? Well, it's in the script here. Okay. It's in the script. So let's slide down to the script. And this is on page 20. Okay. Now you guys know I'm not married to scripts, but this is a starting point for you. Now put it in your own words. Hi, I'm Justin. I think I might have a few buyers who may be interested in your property over in West Virginia there on uh, whatever street that was. I was wondering if you'd be open to joint venturing with me. I, can I also get on your cash buyers list for automatic notifications of new properties you get? Do you have any pretty house leads you can't use? Okay, now I'm not just reading all this, okay? this I'm putting this in a conversation, okay? So I'm, I'm slowly doling out this paragraph during a conversation. I'm not just Gatlin gun questioning the guy here. All right. Do you have any pretty house leads you can't use? Would you be interested in partnering up if I can make money on those bad leads? Okay. So these are questions you're going to want to ask while you're on the phone with them. The first one is I have buyers who may be interested in this deal. I was wondering if you joint venture with me. No matter what he says, yes, no, maybe, uh, possibly, uh, sure. Yeah, send me a, send me a, whatever, I don't, whatever he says. Okay, that's great. Before I get off the phone, I'm going to continue and say, well, great. Can I also get on your cash buyers list before I go? I want automatic notifications of any new deals you get. Also, do you got any pretty house deals, leads that you can't use? Because I, if I partner up with you to get those and make money on those, can we can we share the, the profits? Yeah. Do you see where I'm going with that? These are things that you can do to work with a wholesaler. Okay. So that is co-wholesaling from Craigslist. <clears throat> Here is the agreement. We can talk more about agreements here in a moment if you like. But if you need an agreement, you'll just need an option to purchase agreement, and that will be between you and your wholesaler friend, your new wholesaler buddy. Okay. There's the act. It's just a one page agreement. It is a permission slip. And that's how I refer to it to wholesalers and, and, and for sale by owners and anybody I'm using this with. Mr. Mr. So and so, this is this is my permission slip. If you just sign it and get me started, I'll I'll be off and away to working on this. I believe I can have something done pretty quick. Okay. That's that's where we're at here with the agreement. Very simple. One page. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to get into dealing with ugly house, ugly house stuff. But today we're coming to an end here. We've been here almost an hour. We we started a little late because people are piling in here. Thanks for being here again. But I have a homework assignment for you. You remember the first one that I gave you was to pick 10 markets. The second homework assignment I have for you is to go through at least one, two, or three of those markets tonight using the search terms that I provided, like I showed you, use them yourself in Craigslist and message at least 10 wholesalers. Okay. Message them. Okay. And then if you get on a call with them, use, use the script and see if you can get them to say yes to partnering with you, whether you know how to fill out the agreement or not, it's okay. 
We're going to talk more about the option agreement tomorrow when we talk about ugly houses because we're going to use it there too. But I want you to be able to at least connect with some wholesaler leads tonight, 10 of them exactly. Okay. Now, they might not respond to you. They might respond to you. That is outside the realm of your control. Your job is to go to Craigslist, find them, and message them. Now, I'm here to submit to you that if you did this every day, that you can do this while sitting on the couch watching Netflix, that's when I do it. Because I don't have to talk to nobody to go to Craigslist, surf through there, and send some messages. That's it. If you did this every day and you built the momentum, to 40 or 50 a day. That is the three to five deal range in a month. Okay, we're beginning that momentum with that kind of pace. All right, all of that is actually included in the workbook. There's a letter in the very beginning, a letter to my apprentices where I actually break down those numbers for you. So please spend some time tonight reading the workbook as well, okay? because there is some great information in there for you about how you should, that'll help you manage your expectations. Okay. So 10 tonight, 10 tonight, 10 ugly coho sale leads tonight. Okay. How many people in here will commit to that? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, six, seven. Okay, a lot of you. Great. I am going to do it too. Okay. We're just going to have fun. No pressure. Mes messaging ugly house co host sailors. That's all we're doing tonight. Okay, so tomorrow, I imagine in my mind that if all of us are doing this, we will come back tomorrow and we'll say, well, yes, I messaged so-and-so on this particular deal and they got back with me and they said, sure, if I had a buyer, they'd split 50-50. Boom, we are almost home to having something to sell. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's the point. All right, if you're a wholesaler and you have no inventory, if you're an investor and you have no inventory to sell, how are you going to make money? You can't. <laughs> so you got to get something to sell. That's how capitalism works. You sell, okay, you get paid. All right, so we're going to get some inventory for our real estate business. We're gonna get it up to three to five deals a month. Step one, Craigslist coho sailing, 10 markets. And tonight I want you to message 10 players that you find off of Craigslist. All right, any questions? Any questions about what the homework is or how to accomplish said homework? This is a three-day action challenge. We're here to kick butt and take names and I'm all out of bubble gum, y'all. Hey, Justin, uh, I'm just here for the introduction. Uh, I took off today from school. Uh, Cause you know, I like corresponding and stuff, finding out what's going on, what I need to do and how I need to do it. I would like to definitely like to be on here for the remainder, but I'll be at school. Could you make sure, sir, that I get the, uh, the recordings if that's not a discrepancy? Absolutely. We'll be emailing a link to a page. And in fact, the page, it will be, I'll email you today, guys, after the session, and there'll be a link in that email when you click the link it'll open up a page that looks like this and it'll say replay at the top if you scroll down there'll be the video for today here and the workbook <clears throat> for today here okay also as we go through i'll add the videos for the subsequent sessions yeah and it. yep no problem i'll include that in an email today god bless you i love every one of you thank you so much for being here you guys have made me feel so special today and good. Did you get anything out of today? Was it good? Was it worth being here? Okay, great, great. At least two of you. <laughs> don't make me, don't make my head get big. It's gonna, it's already there. 
<laughs> and just before you leave, yeah. I, before we conclude this, hey, before, uh, when I get something locked up, uh, how can I reach out to you and stuff? Because just like I said, uh, following your, uh, going through the book, following everything, because I'm highly aggressive when it comes to marketing. How would I be able to reach up to you? I uh, reach out to you, you know, what I'm saying uh, to represent me, like like for it's being a buyer or whatever. Okay, so if you got a so if you get a deal under contract and you want a joint venture with me, like you want me yes, to sir. try to find a buyer, is that the question? Well, That's I can, great. Uh, yeah, I, uh, just like I say, anything that I could do to help you out, we can help each other and stuff on my yeah. for you. You know, that's a great thing you said, Hosea, and thanks for bringing that up because I will joint venture with folks. Um, I don't daisy chain, so I won't be the third wholesaler in the middle. I don't like sandwiches with ham, turkey, and salami. Gotcha. 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 I don't like being a salami, salami, salami. I don't like that. So, I, but the two I'll do. Um, so, yeah, I'll joint venture with people just like other wholesalers will. You should You should be open to that, everyone, too. So, while you're here this week, um, maybe notice other folks in the room that you might have a connection with and say, Hey, listen, man, um, let's partner up and do some, Hey, would you, if I get some deals, would you do some dispo for me? Vice versa. This is a great place to build relationships. Everybody. If you're in my coaching club in the chat room, that happens a lot there too. Okay. All right, everybody. Any questions before we go? It's good to see all of you, Mike, Ray, William, Jennifer, Carl, Joe, Hosea, Tasha, Edgar, Hector, Jason, Mike, Christina, Kevin, Alex, Christina was here. Steven was here. Hey, love you guys. Anything else before we go? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. One more thing. Uh, how would I become part of the uh, coaching club? How much is that? Uh, just hop on my calendar, Hosea, um, over at realestatewholesalersclub.com. Just schedule an appointment and me and you'll chat it out and make it work, man. Thank you. Thank you, my yeah. friend. No problem, dude. Thanks, everybody. Love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time. Check your email. I'll be hitting you up later today with the replays and stuff. We'll see you tomorrow. Ugly house, straight wholesaling tomorrow. It's going to be cool, man. Secret technique. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.